Hello everybody, Darren here, and welcome back to Anno 1800. In the last episode, I was working on delivering the painstaking New World reports and the Arctic reports to our scholars. To moderate success, you know, we basically did it. We're marginally behind on the Arctic reports, but it should be easy enough to fix in the future when I'm more involved with the mail system. Today, we look to produce the final good for the scholars, the final good for engineers, and the final two goods for artisans if we have any time left over. So let's begin. So, the final good that we're going to be doing for the scholars is going to be scooters. One of these more complicated things that I was a little bit on edge about at the end of the last episode, but it seems like it's not going to be too difficult. If we have a look at the production chain here for it, we can see it's quite a complicated one. Lots of moving parts, lots of annoying parts that require lots of space, such as cotton, caoutchouc, orchards, you know, camphor wax, ethanol... But we had a look through the statistics in the previous episode and it didn't seem like it'd be too difficult, so let's get cracking. Now, I think actually at the end of the last episode we'd already put down the extra scooter factories. We did. So I believe I've got enough of those. So we're just going to do that and work our way backwards. Backwards. But before we do, there's an item in the Research Institute that I want to go get, or a character that I want to source. And that's going to be a guy called Beckonin. Now, I had him... Oop. There we go. Back in Spirit of Liberty. So productivity 25%, workforce uh, negative 25%, and maintenance negative 20% as well for all production buildings. I like to just vary it up in terms of items. There are better items out there. We're going to be combining them with a Ferris Asarami already, so reserve your comments on that one. He's already going to be in there. All right, so while we're getting him, it should only be about 10 minutes. We'll hop back over, and we'll get cracky on this. So... Scooters. Scooters, scooters, scooters. We've got four on the island already. We'll probably localize them in a moment. If we go all islands, consumer goods, and we type scooter, we can see we're actually going to need another one. Probably. We're slightly under. Hmm. Is that the way we're going to do it? Or could we boost them somehow? <laughs> Just trying to think if we should combine them up with a trade union that has space already. If they could... What about this? Uh, it doesn't seem like a scooter factory is going to be included there. Okay, I think I'll just bite the bullet and go with five instead of four. I think we can do it. All right, let me just put another one down then temporarily. Bump. Or not temporarily, put another one down then we can check the statistics. So, that's going to require needing more caoutchouc, needing pigments, and needing motors, of course. So, I think I need another motor factory, at least one. I can organize these in just a moment in a little bit of a better fashion, too. And then what I think we're going to need is three pigment laboratories in total. We've got one. Yeah. All right, so we'll do three of these and see how this goes. See how it treats us. So three like that. And we'll change this one here to be medicine. Because I'm actually going to need to make more medicine later. We'll get to that in a bit. All right. So there's our three pigment labs. Fetching, salt petter, and, or salt peter, and... Uh, Minerals. All right, let's check our mineral budget then. So all islands, minerals, and it's a raw material. Eight to eight. That's good. That's totally fine. And it's produced here on Manola, I believe. It's the only place that makes it. So eight to eight. That should be totally fine. That worked out well. Uh, salt butter, Peter. Is it Peter? It's Peter, right? I always just get it wrong. Anyway. Ah, slightly low. Now, you do get some of this, don't you, from... Farms. What kind of farm is it that d gives it to you? you should go sit in the shed. Alpaca farms. What do Nandu farms give you as a byproduct for being electrified? Oh, Nandu feathers. Interesting. All right. So we'll probably need a little bit more then. It seems a tiny bit low. Now, I can barely remember where you even get this. Chemical plants are producing it as a byproduct in the old world, in Malahide, and in Lusk. Quintessensk, Guadalmina, and Manola. Quintessensk is making it. It must be a byproduct of something out here. Oh, again, the farm. Just one of the alpaca farms. But it's not being electrified, so how is that possible? It's So it's n it's not being made. It's zero. Okay, it just... Okay. I guess it has the capacity to make it, but it's not online, so that's why it's showing me. Fair enough. Okay. Now, I think you can bring some in maybe through Docklands. That might be a nice way of doing it, because it can be a kind of an awkward one to get, I feel like. Yeah, and we are doing that. We're actually doing that already. Storage is full, and we're trading a tiny bit of gold for it. Now, do I have it set up here to move anywhere? Animal byproducts. 
importing Saltpetter into the new world, straight into Manola. So there we go, we can see that it's happening. So into Manola, we're delivering in Saltpeter, so it should be totally fine. All right, great, we'll leave it as is. We'll make adjustments to Docklands if we feel like we're running out, but it should be totally fine, I think. We've got plenty of gold extra as well to increase it if, if we needed to. So we'll let them do their thing for a while. They're going to make their pigments. So that's kind of pigment sorted. You know, I'm not really too concerned about that. So that's pigments done. Cowchuck it will be the next one. So we have giant cowchuck facilities up here. So we're totally fine for that as well. That's been made on Manola largely. It's been made in other places too, but I'm confident that it's it'll be fine here. The next one will be motors themselves. We just put down an extra motor factory. So if we go like this, we go intermediate type motor. Oh my god, we're really, really close. So 21 produced for a consumption rate of just over 21. I'm actually going to leave that as is. We don't need another motor factory. We're probably going to be slightly less than what we need, technically speaking, but more than what the motors are going to go into, if that makes sense. So I'm okay for this to run at like one of these to run at like 90% which is what would happen there. Or as we can see here, 200%, 250 or whatever, 195. So some are running at 250. Ah, yes, the ones that are surrounded by this, whereas there's two outside of it that don't get that luxury. Now, if we could fit one, no, you wouldn't get one in there. And what about sideways here? Nope. The only way you could do it is if you remove the hot, if you move the hot sauce. Does the hot sauce get boss. these benefits? They do, and they kind of need them. All right, that's okay then. Yep, yeah, so we can just have two out on their own and we're basically making as much as we need. So that's going to need then electric cable, celluloid, and steel. Now, I think the good thing with celluloid is we have a bunch of factories doing that. So that's totally fine. Chemical plants, I should say. Celluloid is locked in. Uh, electric cable, same sort of situation here, I think. Ooh, we're just, just slightly under. Ah, but that's what our boy Beckonin's here for. So the cable ah, factories are built out here on Manola. You may remember we have a trade union here. Two items in there, one missing. So Beckonin will fill that spot, giving us an extra 25% productivity, which means we can probably turn off one of the perfumes and then just uh, get that, squeeze that little bit extra out of these guys. That's going to require more caoutchouc, but only marginally, so I think we're fine. And then more copper, which is also fine. So not worried about that. Should be good. All right, this is actually seemingly very doable so far. What's left? Well, that's motors, isn't it? And that's all the way down, because steel is okay as well. I think that might be it. So what we have to do is set up our actual trade route to deliver these. Now, if I recall correctly, scooters is already handled in the old world alongside some other stuff, but we actually don't deliver it to the old world. So we'll create a trade route from Manola to the old world to Lusk. And just spam it out. One ship can do it. Get a reefer. Call this uh, New World to Old World export. So, export scooter. Okay, well, there we go. And we should actually have plenty in storage already, right? Yeah. All right, in theory, it's just going to find its way then to um, the Scholar's No Problem on its own, really. So let's just have a look at a little notepad of making some notes of things to get done. So while we're waiting for Beckoning the item to be made, the character to be sourced. Is he still on the go? Yeah, we can head over to the Arctic. So I was having a look. We're a little short on the Arctic reports, only a very, very small amount. Now, I was actually doing some testing and I was uh, disappointed to find this out. So I was looking in this Arctic Lodge. We have our lady in there, the science reporter, giving us the Arctic reports. And by the way, shout out to the comments of the previous episode. A lot of people feeling my pain with the mail system and also trying to offer some support or addition, you know, ideas and different things you can do with it. Um, Ultimately, I was looking around at different items that might be able to affect production here in the Arctic or increase the post office that we have here. So we've got a post office here, just to re um, remind you, a post office there and another one out here on Hopefell that's doing the same thing. And we have an item nearby that's given us the Arctic reports. So we're doing it in two islands. Now we could obviously just open one up here for no additional cost really and have our Arctic reports airship just go around and collect it and that'd be fine. Probably will end up doing that, I feel like. We have the additional item as well, but to cut down on the amount of trips, I was just trying to see if I could squeeze a bit more out of these guys. So what my thought process was, is I looked over at Old Nate. Oh, I checked the, just, or the um, overall productivity screens and stuff and item search, but then I, I noticed that he has the music box, right? Affects all Arctic production buildings. So I was like, sweet. All Arctic production buildings, 20% productivity. We'll have to go test that. 
And you look at the post office and you go, hey, it says the word production. I'm in the Arctic. I can see that it's snowing. But it doesn't work. The item does not work. It does not give me my 20% boost. I don't think anything really affects the post office except her. So, unfortunately, I couldn't really get any more of a boost out of this when I was kind of testing things out. So it's like, oh, you just kind of have to leave that as is then. And someone correctly in the comments pointed out, you need to be at least at 300% productivity if you want to be earning the amount that you desire. So, nothing really to talk about other than just let you know that that doesn't work. But what I was thinking I could do as well... Oh, some also people suggested you could just turn this on. I know it's weird, but... I don't want to kind of like game the system, even if I don't agree with the system and I feel like it obviously doesn't even design-wise make sense anymore. Items that say they affect production chains aren't even affecting them because it's a special system onto itself, I guess. I don't know. I'm all messed up in the head, but I'm going to leave this off. It's fine. It wouldn't do anything anyway. It has to be in range of this. But um, what I do want to do is make another one of these. Pop it down here, for instance, and just turn it off. Because you know what? I need the extra storage more than anything. And that's the only way we can increase it. Why on earth is this only giving me 10 storage capacity? 10! The airmail sorting office gives you 10. And a post office gives you 50. Airmail sorting office? Are you kidding me? Come on. Also, there's no like warehouse for post or anything. So there's nothing you can do other than just putting these down. But because I can't put another one down because of the radius, you'd have to put another one up here or something do that just turn it off i don't want anyone there's nothing to collect here nobody needs to work it but i do get the the storage capacity so we're up to 210 here so at least it lets us build up a decent amount of the arctic reports hey we're over 400 percent now that's pretty good actually does this go all the way up to i think it needs to go to 600 or something i can't remember anyway it doesn't really matter but that's generate generating us the arctic reports thanks to the trade union here we could get other items that, sorry arctic lodge other items that benefit the populace and lower their consumption rates for certain things and things like that so not too worried about it on that front anyway just wanted to make a quick stop here show you what i learned i guess and uh never return again <laughs> um a couple things actually though i did notice just in looking over it here we've got um a couple houses here that are just regular explorers maybe we can make them technicians because there's a technician house here and here they're both comfortable And we have 666 extra workforce and another 500 technician workforce, so we can like drastically lower the um, the amount of houses here. And that way, you know, we're you know I'm lacking on having enough husky sleds. I'm lacking on uh, probably a few other things. I know that some of these are actually fluctuating, and you'll save a lot. You won't need nearly as much production. So I'd like to you know downsize the Arctic as much as possible. As much as as great as we're doing bringing up that population, that's never ever really my goal. I wanted to have the series have 100,000. We're almost closing on 200,000. So I'm well above the goal I ever really decided for myself. But what I would like to do is make this place more lean and efficient. No need having... There's such limited space on the docks as well that the constant influx of trade and everything, lowering all the amounts, I think would be a great thing. But we'll, do, we'll get to that at a later date. All right, so we've made our character out here. We can send him via the Air Force. Beckoning. And then we'll head over to the, back to the New Worlds. Go down to our area here, and it'll take just a moment, but he'll be available here in a moment to drag in from the airport. We'll get that 25%. We'll turn off this extra perfume. I don't think we'll need it. I'll just speed up time, I guess, until he's here. Come on, old chum. How long is this going to take? There he is. There he is. Got him. All right. So that's going to be 25%. Again, all production buildings are affected. So I was able to turn off one perfume and these can stay stable. So that's electric cables. Let's just see now. Is it over the amount it needs to be? It is. Barely, but it is. So it's perfect. Excellent. All right. So with that, that's that sorted. <laughs> really. Maybe we could organize it just to look a little bit nicer. I just say I would easier than I thought. I was really scared about it at first, but I think having built that celluloid area and all those chemical plants and everything, I've kind of future-proofed myself for a while with having to add different buildings. Now, obviously, we can clean this place up in future, but kind of nice to maybe 
put these in over this way as well. That way all our buildings are close together. So what they need to get, they can grab pretty easily. That one's not going to fit there. Hmm... All right, so lots of warehouses here, so that's going to be, and maybe we'll rotate these just to face the same way. Good. All right, so we have three pigment laboratories. Is it four of these in total? Four scooter factories. No, five, actually, because we've got one down here, and we've got motors down here as well. Yep. Motors, scooters, and pigments. Nice. All good. Oh my god, my stomach is growling so loud. Uh, right, well, that was so much faster than I anticipated. I'm almost out of ideas of what to do. But no, there's other things. Like I said, we have to do medicine next. So we'll just keep an eye on these guys. Holy crap, that's triumphant music. So they still don't have it yet, but it should make its way here. The next thing we can work on is getting these guys their medicine. So the medicine route that I'd set up, I initially designed, if you want to call it that, to go around as a multi-regional route. So... I don't know if this is going to really work, because it's 8 tons per minute is what we'd have to be delivering. And it'll be going to swords, and they're actually sending some there, so... I don't know. I think we'll just increase medicine production until we hit our quotas, and then see if that route works out. If it doesn't, then we'll have to give it its own custom route, but that's okay. So let's go medicine. We currently produce 5 tons per minute, we consume 8. So we just built an extra medicine thing there. Let's just get another one down here. So that's three in total. By the way, apologies. I've said this in other videos, but um, you might be able to hear weird noise in the background, and that is an ice cream truck moving around. This guy's like, I gotta go really quickly. <laughs> um, all right, looks like we're on eight, but I think we should be making more than that. Maybe we'll try another one, just because we're probably going to upgrade another hospital at some point. And I'm not sure how difficult it is, but I reckon we can do it. So, um, ethanol, orchid, and herbs. Herbs. All right, let's check ethanol, because that's the one that's probably trickiest. Oh my god, we're totally fine. All right, don't worry about ethanol then. The next one is orchid and herbs. These ones will need to be addressed, but they should be easy. Orchid is 40 under 41, so that's almost done. And then herbs is 53 under 50. They're both built on these their own islands, so... We could just put down a couple more farms and that should be that. The trade routes are already sorted out for it, so I'm not too worried about that aspect. And we've already delivering fuel here, so adding tractor barns is totally okay as well. Let's just put it there for a sec. So we'll just cut that. In fact, I think we only need this one. What can I do for you? Is that it? Uh, it goes up to 192. And it's rotated the wrong way, but whatever. We'll deal with that some other point. Alright, once it gets fed its proper thing, we can check statistics again and see how we're doing with that. Uh, the other island was this one up here, Alicante. Which uh, a few people have pointed out shouldn't have the accent over the E, but... That's just the way we're doing it. Hans von Schlong shouldn't be one word either, but you know, it's the, it's my own personal touch, <laughs> I guess. Um, all right, so another one of these should be good enough, I think. Me thinks. Uh, I guess the easiest way would just be to grab this one. All right, let's bring it out maybe down this way. Oh my god, that music is so crazy loud from the... Ice cream truck. I get it's an ice cream truck, truck and I don't want to be old man shouting at clouds. But it's on all the time and it's so loud. I feel like, can't you just like, I don't know. People like are on social media and stuff. Can't you just, I, I don't want to get rid of the ice cream truck. This is such a, a source of joy. But a part of me thinks like, there's food trucks in the area I live in, right? So people post like, hey, it's Thursday. Every Thursday, the burger truck comes by and they let people know like, hey, we're going to be in the area today. Uh, on the kind of community Facebook group for the, the area that I live in. And that's great. 
can't we just have that for the ice cream guy? Like, hey, I'm the ice cream guy. I'm, I'm going to be there at, like, this time, this time, this time. And, you know, blare your little thing when it's time. Just once. But that should be it. It's just so loud. Anyway, I know I sound like an old Scrooge saying that kind of thing. Of course you want to hit the kids when they're out and about, but... There's no... There is no kids out and about here. It's just a big estate. There's a school nearby, but... He's not at the school. And thinking about it, actually, what time is it? Yeah, school's on right now when I'm recording this. <laughs> it's just for the adults then, I guess. All right, anyway, I'm getting massively off topic, but um, we're looking good, right? Is that farm done now? Did I miss a module? I missed two modules. Just tape that in there. So where do you have to get your thing from? All the way down there. Oh, that might be too far. Oh, it is. That's why is it so far away? Oh, yeah. Hmm. Okay. Bum, 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 ba, ba, da, ba, da. Yep, alright, that's better. Now, because the trade routes are already set up, taking uh, Orchid out of here, I assume we're just good to have it, you know, it's already going to be delivered and everything should be A-OK -okay with what we're making. There's a thousand in here, there's a thousand in here, 295 for herbs. So let's uh, have a look now. Should Enough time should have passed that it's, yep, there we go, 67 over 60. And then Orchid, they haven't actually got their fuel probably yet, or if they have, it's just gone over the area now. So 45 over 41, so solved. Easy peasy. So that's good. So that's all our medicine now. So that is a production rate of something like, what did it say, like 12 per minute or something? Maybe 10, I think now? 11, yeah. So 11 per minute, and we have a ship taking away 100. Hmm. I'm just trying to think. I don't think it arrives every 10 minutes. That's what it would need to do in order to actually do this correctly. So trade routes... Is this not organized by name? <laughs> uh, I guess you can type medicine. Does that work? Services delivery. There we go. Uh, yeah. So the time involved in getting back and forth is way too long for what we're trying to deliver. It's this 26 minutes. It would have to arrive every 10 minutes thereabouts to actually deliver this. So what we'll have to do is say maybe not medicine. Because an actual, this is a slightly different one, right? Because people, I might keep this as a thing. Sure, why not? But we'll set up a dedicated route doing medicine because it is a good that a class actually needs. Whereas these are more for the buildings. So we could kind of change things that way. All right, so trade routes. Again, Manola to, hmm. We're in the engineers, of a virtuoso. engineers are in two places. Cape Trelawney and swords. So we go back to Lusk. I guess we'll just dump our medicine here. Maybe we could have done it with scooters, actually, thinking about it. That might be a good idea, because I feel like one ship de dealing with this, the rate isn't probably high enough. Yeah, it's only five tons per minute. So let's get that scooter route. And we'll make this medicine as well. Just, yeah, that's cool. Now, the problem with that is the ship is now in transit, so we'll have to catch it when it arrives, dump its stuff, because it won't know what to do with it. That would be a nice quality of life improvement if you could kind of, when you update a route that's already ongoing, it either dumps, you can like just say, can I just dump this now? Or dump, unload still where you're going. I don't know. I don't know what you could say. But just like unload excess button or something like that. So it's like, yeah, if you've got the wrong good on here, just unload it or dump it, one or the other, for the next game, of course. <laughs> um, so we'll just hit pause, and that way we should see it when it comes in. All right, so that'll be medicine. So in order to actually take that up to uh, swords, and then someone else take it off to Cape Trelawney, we'll have to have a look at either making a new route or look at the routes that are going to swords already. And just check in old world. So these are all the ones. Now, if there's a question mark one, such as this... This would be a perfect candidate 
for taking up medicine and taking up scooters, I would say. Because the rates are quite low. So quite the hybrid route. But I think 50 at a time for the time it takes to go up and down should be totally fine. Especially if we give this guy some extra stuff just in case. A thank you for all you've done. I want to type extra, but I have no more space to type, but that's fine. Don't think you'll be getting any more. So let's select the ship. I'm going to just manually tell it to go to swords and just stop there and we'll load up any items that we can. There should be some here, I think, that have additional things on them uh, that could make ships go faster, etc. Wouldn't be any harm to just research a couple in the background. So there's ship items. The propellers are usually pretty good. 20,000 a piece. Just get a bunch of them. Put them on different ships. And then there was someone for, I think, loading speed. Because that one is going to basically movement and cargo slow down. But you want loading speed. So her loading speed is 60%. I mean, that's pretty good. Hers is 100%. Oh, sorry, 75. Can't get her though, right? Well, we could. You can get her one more time. Oh no, we can get her a couple more times before it becomes impossibly expensive for me. Same with her. Alright, cool. Just queue up a bunch of things for the future. There's so many ships. That's insane. Oh my god. Can't see the ship. This is the one. There it is. All right, we got this one in, so we'll bring this over to our docks and just unload the scooters in there. And then we can just resume and it should know what it's doing from now on. So it's doing scooters and medicine, very specific thing. All right, and you, I just wanted you to pick up some items. So, let's see, can we get anything that would be non-military? There she is, loading speed, 75 cargo slowdown. So, the cargo slowdown is really what I wanted to get rid of. Movement speed, I don't need to adjust necessarily, but if there's something here for it quickly, then sure. Movement speed, 20%, that's fine. Get in there. Captain Kadija. Alright. Off you go. I had another day and night cycle on for a while. I just thought it'd be fun to turn it back on for a bit. All right, if we take a look now, have they got their scooters? They actually have, so there we go. Scholars are done. We're seeing green across the board, green across the board. Uh-oh, tapestries had a little fluctuation. I'm just going to make a note of that because these are things I might have to catch up on sometimes. I know that we make enough, but sometimes it could be trade routes or it could be the case that Storage wasn't enough and it stopped production or something, you know. Okay, so pretty good. Let's work our way down. So the investors, totally green. Totally green, except for the, again, the tapestries. So that's an okay problem. The tourists. Totally green. The souvenirs, again, having a little issue. So I'm writing that down. Souvenirs. All right, so souvenirs and tapestries were after catching at 90%. But other than that, they're looking pretty good, right? So next up is going to be the engineers, which are also pretty much set across the board, but we're going to be giving them medicine, which is seven extra engineers per household. Pretty good. And we've just sorted that out too, so that's done. Now after engineers, I was kind of debating whether or not to go deal with like the Arctic technicians or go to artisans. It's one or the other, but I think we'll just have a look at artisans Sweet a bit easier. Music. So it looks like they need beer, and they'll need soccer balls. So that's actually good, because we were kind of working in Manola anyway, so we can figure out what's needed for that. So soccer balls are low tier down on the Artistas New World Rising DLC. Ball sports, Nandu Farm, Cowchuck again, and then Ball Manufactory. Okay, so let's see how much we need. Oh wow, we actually need a lot. We only make 8 tons per minute, and we're consuming 24. I guess it's because we have a lot of artisans around the world. Actually, I just remembered as well. We're supposed to set up a trade route that takes those takes medicine out to Crown Farms. But I might leave that, because the services ship will do that anyway. Actually, yeah. 
It'll do it a bit slower, but it will get there. So it is going to happen. There is medicine already being sent to Crown Farms, basically. So that should be okay. All right. It is last on the list, though, but it should get there without boring you too much about why. So if we're looking at artisans, we have the City of Swords, the old artisan cliff still going strong, looking damn good. And some of these houses actually have the old style skin on them. Actually, we'll have to unify their skins properly. Uh, so, yep, we have artisans there. We have artisans down here in the colorful artisan village. It's actually starting to rain now. We have some artisans over here. I love this town. I think it looks really great. Don't know if we've got artisans anywhere else. I think we had one or two houses here, if I'm not mistaken. Nope, this is all just workers and farmers, so that's good. Then we do have artisans down here, I can remember. Just a couple. And then some more over this way. Yep. Alright, so I think it's three islands then in the old world that need to be fed for artisans. Hey, they actually have beer. They don't have soccer balls. Oh, they need scooters as well. Huh. Did not realize that. That's good. Little two for one action. Okay, good. So what are we bringing them now? We're bringing them <laughs> soccer balls and scooters. So maybe they can have like a new world, a new world kind of a uh, little trade route. So we'll go from Lusk to... Do you want to go to swords with it? No, because it already has stuff. Malahide. And there. So we can just have a route that does these two islands. This one will be separate because it's a big, big place. So yeah, scooters. I don't think we need two lots of it. And then we'll have soccer balls. And we'll just set it to be 50-50. Why not? Alright, keep it in the old world, and we'll call this, I don't know, um, well, it's a delivery, artisan's life. St mm, art artisan lifestyle one. <laughs> Or maybe actually just lifestyle. That would probably make more sense. Lifestyle one. So it's a sp specific thing that we're handling for the lifestyle of these different guys. So they need soccer balls, they need scooters, and that's it. If we could do more with this route, then I'll put more onto it. If, if forever, like, the, the workers or the farmers need something that's very specific, that's lifestyle, we can hit those guys as well. So that should be okay. It's a little bit of a messy one. I know, it's getting a little messy, but that should be okay. Now, sometimes I often look for, if I've left a question mark... That's going to... Oh, yeah. That's just something that needs to be adjusted later. And this obviously says temporary as well in all caps. Crown farms. Oh, we're just selling stuff off. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we do make beer then. We just have to sort out the trade route for it. This is all very doable then. The one thing we're not sorting out just yet is the soccer balls to actually go to swords. I think, actually, just thinking about it... <laughs> English is a funny language. If we give the artisans their stuff, this whole island is done then. There's no other class on the sun. There's no farmers or workers. So we're about to fully meet the demands of swords. Wow. The only thing I haven't sent them is the beer and soccer balls. <laughs> so maybe we'll make a route that does both. So how much do you need for soccer? Two. Beer? Three. Not very much. Not very much at all. Alright, we'll make one ship that does both. Excuse me, both then. You only need really one slot, actually. If it's going to be that, that is a very small amount. Beer and balls. <laughs> That's exciting. I didn't realize, I just didn't really think about it, that we're almost at the point where swords will never have another trade route. That's kind of crazy, except for mail, but we don't talk about that. <laughs> All right, cool. So let's catch up on how things are looking. Do we have medicine yet? Oh, I'm seeing a trickle on up. Something's happening. Did I pause another ship that I've left behind? I think we had it. 
don't think so, right? We resumed all the ships that I interrupted. It looked like it was tri trickling up, but it doesn't seem like it. Let's just check. Sorry again, but medicine. So Old World, here's the route that we're waiting on. They have their scooters. They do not have their medicine just yet. Did we send it from the New World to the Old World? Ah, yes. We're waiting on this ship to make its delivery. So once this one gets in there, medicine is, is abound. All right. And medicine is already going to Crown Farms. Okay, good. So that's all, everything sorted then. That's going to be... That's kind of crazy <laughs> if I've finally done it. Uh, except for like a few of these little issues that we're seeing. I'm pretty sure we do make enough of all this stuff. So I'll have to trace these back. I don't want to bore you too much by tracing things during the episode, but I'll talk you through whatever the solution is when I find it. Uh, it's just so everyone knows what happened. Keen to get I'm keen to get started on the time lapses for the series. And then we can wrap it up. Not that I'm like keen to wrap it up or anything, but I mean, we're at like 150 episodes now. <laughs> it's time we put a cap on to the end of it. So, soccer balls is what we actually need to make. So to do that, we need more Nandu leather and more Kalchuk, probably. So let's check... Well, let's work our way backwards. We know that we needed a bunch more of these. Ball manufactories. Now, there's two over there. There's only two on the island. Let's grab those two. Come with me. That is right against the wall, unfortunately, which means there isn't any space for a road to go in the back here. Let me just see what we're at now. So they're in, they're covered by the production buildings. Ferris al Sarami is boosting them, not boosting that one. Let's just pause that one for a second. So we got Ferris boosting it, we got a reduction of, or sorry, an increase of productivity with the Fortunate, and then we have another increase of productivity with Beckonin, Spirit of Liberty. So let's see. 25 over 24, damn, perfect. All right, great. So we don't need that. Built one more than I needed. But now we can see the true number of Kauchuk and Nandu leather that we're gonna have to grab. Nandu leather. So we're severely under for that. We need 25 tons per minute. We're currently only producing 11. Kauchuk. Globally, we are now under. We were over before, so that's going to put that extra stress on it. So we need maybe one or two more Kauchuk plantations. Now, sorry. This is all our Kauchuk here. We're pretty full up, to be perfectly frank. Uh, but I guess... I guess not. The Hacienda Radius is here, here, so we can still build up and around it, I, I guess. Yeah. I reckon one more will do it. Okay, we'll leave that building where it is. So they won't be able to get to that. Just trying to think, if I shifted this over to the left, you can't bring the um, the rail line over that way, just because this is where the turn is, and there kind of needs to be a turn there. So it will just have to be left that way. So this will have to just push out just a little further. And we'll make a small road that goes up this way. All right, that's 96. There we go. I reckon that extra one will do it. We'll wait until it gets its stuff and then see how it's getting on. But we have another fuel line here, a fuel line there, and a fuel line here. So we should have plenty for the tractors. I think that's okay. Now, what we'll need to do for the Nandu leather, I'm just going to do this very hastily and just see how this shakes out. But we'll just grab everything from here, bring this straight down, link it up somewhere there just for a moment. And then these are the Nandu farms. We just have the two, I think. Yep. So let's just grab them. Like so. We could rotate it around and slot it in behind, actually, if we wanted to. 
Yeah, so let's just cut this. Ah, well then our thing is a little off, but we could... Whoops, that was so loud. We could just adjust that real quick. Interesting setup there. It's like, I guess you don't need this, technically. Wait, how do you feed the, uh... So to feed the silos, it has to go out and around and down. That's a bit weird. I don't know why I did it that way. Maybe I was tied on space. I don't like that, so I'm just gonna fix it. Just bring it down by one extra tile. An explosion in one of your factories. Swords, wow. Not often things explode down here. Broke out. The fire on the commuter pier. Oh my god. There's people just standing on a big hole. Just like, yeah, this is fine. Oh, I can't get to work? Oh well. <laughs> is there uh is there anyone coming? Or Yeah, they're there already. They have their fire extinguishers loaded up. Automatically handling it, which is good to see. I love the fire service. They help me a lot. Well, I bet they do. All right, great. So that's uh, another two farms. Let's double this up. Let's double this up. And see how we're doing now for production. We'll have to wait until the silos get full. Right, looking good for a quick job not bad you know but obviously all this stuff can is subject to um, a massive overhaul at some point I'm surprised I was even able to put that there is there no other oh yeah it's still in range it's totally fine so what this was doing was actually it does affect orchards uh, oh, sorry not orchards um uh, what am I trying to say hacienda fertilizer works that's it and then it's the ice cream factory that we're affecting but it also affects laboratory medicine but it would increase the amount of workforce, so I don't know if I really want to do that. Like, we built our medicine labs over here. So we could get 20% more out of it if we didn't care about the artista workforce, which I guess I don't. And then we get a little extra ethanol for it. Should we do that? I mean, that's what it's kind of there for. Put them in together. Why the hell not? And we can maybe get rid of one of these then, because I did say that I added an extra just in case. Really, really we only needed three. There we go. We could just leave it, I guess. Herbs are still fine. Orchid's still fine. Ethanol should be fine. Yep. Well, then we'll leave it. We'll just leave it. Why the hell not? Because we don't really need this. Um, there's no real drawback to it. We have the workforce for everything, so it's, what's the big problem, you know? We're not affecting that building, are we? Surely not. Nope. So the other things we affected in here were the chocolate factory, the pl fried plantain kitchen, ice cream factory. So it's the ice cream factories that are here in front of us that get affected. And then it's basically just the medicine. Uh, we also have the Hacienda Fertilizer Works, which I believe still is up here. So maybe I'll have to bring that back down. Now, do these each have a circle? Ah, yeah. Don't know if I was affecting them before or not. I don't think I was, because it would have been about... Oh, maybe I was. Uh, no, actually, no, 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 because it was around here before, before I started moving things. Because that farm was in place, and then there was three ice cream factories, and then there was this. So I don't think I was boosting it. So as long as that's the same, then that's okay, too. Uh, let's check how much we're producing now for Nando stuff. Wow. Okay, way more than we need. 43 over 25. Let's maybe chop off the last two of those. Genius 
device is complete. Just realized there's still grass here that we have to get rid of. There we go. God bless the move tool. So nice to have that. Alrighty. Uh, so we should still have enough now. Yep, we're up to 32 over 25. I mean, arguably we don't even need one of these. Maybe I'll just power it down for a sec. Uh, so that's for, this is all in service of soccer balls. So we built the soccer balls out here. We made sure that we had enough. We increase the amount of caoutchouc we make, and we just increase the amount of Nandu leather. And that all seems fine. The byproduct of which is Nandu feathers. Sorry, I'm after already forgetting what I was going to look at. I was going to look at... Oh yeah, caoutchouc, because I just didn't check if that one extra farm is enough, but I think it is. Ooh, we're right on the edge, but I think we'll be okay. We could probably just leave it. Might one day put in another one. Because we do have the space. We've got a little bit more space around this side if you wanted to add another in. I'm going to make a note of that as well. So, tapestries, souvenirs, and possibly... Kautchuk is just running a little low. But, if things stop every now and then, I think we still overproduce so much that I'm com comfortable enough to let that be the case, you know? That's the reason why I'm like, oh, okay, that's not too bad. Oof, we are filling up Manola, like fast it feels fast anyway all right so well um i guess we have to set up the trade route to send this stuff back overseas so soccer balls so beer and balls out of here i think yeah just straight up soccer balls can leave this place i don't know if we need anything else on the route um because the consumption rate was pretty high it was like 20 per minute and it's not all needed in the old world it's needed around the place so we'll just deliver it here um Soccer balls. There we go. I worry about the amount of... Yeah, I'm going to put good items on this. The amount of traffic that's going to be at this place is just getting insane now. So, new world to old worlds. And what we call it, um... Export soccer balls. Alright, leave it at that. Let's see how that gets us. So that should be all the artisans fed, except for the ones in Cape Trelawney. Still need to do that. Now, what I'm thinking is, because the traffic is going to get start getting mental, maybe we now with the extra influence we got in the previous episode, we'll build another harbor master office somewhere at the back here. Uh, let's just get rid of this depot. Put a harbor master office in there, and then we'll boost these piers. So what items do we need? We need... I'm just going to write this down because I always forget. So, CAD... Deja. Then we're going to need Lady Baines. And the last one would be Savvy. Okay, let's see if we can source these ladies. Because I think I might have one or two of them still not being used. Item location. Docklands, Harbor Master Office, Harbor. So she's in use. Okay. The other one will be Lady Baines. Got a lot of her. Item location. Grand Trading Post at Swords. There's five of them just sitting there. There's one at Puerto Venus, actually. And one at Crown Farms. Okay, we can get Lady Baines then. So we'll just head to Puerto Venus and get her. And then the very fat last one will be Savvy Customs Officer. There's one at Crown Farms. But we have an airport, so we can just transfer her. Does Puerto Benus have an airport? It actually doesn't. It makes airships, but it doesn't actually have one. Engaging 
just gonna get this guy to carry it over. All right, let's bring her in. All right, the savvy customs officer is in, so that's gonna go, oh, so it just increases harbor activity for her, but the other one actually increases loading speed just slightly. So the default loading speed of these piers is gonna be two tons per second. I think we've boosted the other ones fairly significantly by this point. What are all these ships doing, by the way? Oh, I just have them. Oh, right, I didn't realize that a bunch of idle ships. Oh, yeah, 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 we made them in the previous episode. It was for doing mail and stuff. Sweet. Nice. Alright, she's in. Back on your route, sir. Okay, so this is going to improve harbor activity 17%. And then the other one was Khadija. Um, so to get her, we'll have to go to the Research Institute again. Boldly tread where none have trod before. All right, she'll come up next. Awesome. So that's just something that I know that's going to be a problem. Like, there's so many routes in the New World that it did. I did cut down on it quite a bit because over here I upgraded these so that they're special, and then also we have the loading speed buffs in here. So again, loading speed 30% and then 17% and harbor activity is increased. So the best we have is now 5.2 per second, but that's as, as good as I can get it really, I think. Um, up from two, you know, just a default two tons per second. Now it's 5.2 tons per second. So it's much faster. And you can see they prioritize using these ones. Even when these ones are free, they still think like, I'll wait because this will be faster. Um, but now if we mirror that over here, we, we effectively open up a whole nother front. Uh, you could do it on this side maybe or something in, in the future. I just have way more pier space if we wanted to. Uh, so I think the next one was then beer, wasn't it? Did we set up soccer balls going into these different places? Yeah, it's just not going to Cape Trelawney, but that's okay. We'll do that later. Beer will be the next thing then that these guys need. That should be easy because I think we make enough. It's made in Cape Trelawney. Yeah, we make more than we need. Globally, we have plenty. Absolutely plenty. So super easy. Just needs to actually get brought here. So, I said that it would be on a route, beer and balls, right? Now, I don't know how much is necessarily needed if we just check beer. It's three tons per second. Jeez, it's so low. I can't believe how low it is. One ship can actually do it then. Uh, all right, so we just need to create a route joining beer. Just to triple check, sorry to keep doing this, but... Yeah, we don't connect it to Cape Trelawney. Okay. So Cape Trelawney. Crown Farms to the Old World. Into Lusk. Beer. Um. Alright. Export. Beer, and you need to throw that overboard if you can't do anything with it, I think. Because it needs to be sold. And that's why we have it on this route. Because we're picking it up at Crown Farms and just selling it constantly. So you don't need to do that anymore. Oh, their route actually got messed up somehow as well, anyway. So glasses, schnapps, schnapps, glasses. New orders. Glasses, schnapps, schnapps, glasses. Yep. Yeah. All right, cool. Sold. Excellent. All right, cool. So that's all that sorted then. So you ran out of camphor. So that's why souvenirs stopped. So what's the problem? Let's check globally camphor wax. Well, we make more than we need. Only marginally, but... Do you deliver it out here? 
Cape to the old world. Camp 4 import. Yeah. Oh, ship's turning the corner right now to do it. Maybe it's just a bit slow. Because we should have enough globally. Possibly need some items. Once we get those propellers and things, it might speed it up. Or we could just put another ship on the route. There's only one route. One ship, I mean. So let's just do another one. Twice the volume. I had no idea I was so this place busy. is such a big exporter of drinks. We have champagne, schnapps, We've beer. All this stuff is typically like full. You're low on hops. Wow, you're very low on hops. I don't know how I let that happen. Do the laziest build ever. Right, so, what do you need? 100 and... You've got more than you have. Okay. 144 is what they need to go up to. Why are they all such a high amount? 168. Why would I... 214. 168. Oh, is it because they haven't got their stuff yet? Oh. No, I thought maybe it wasn't... Um, the fertility wasn't here, but it is. We have the fertility for hops. Oh, there you go. Chemical fertilizer, productivity 50%, number of modules is increased. That's why. Fair enough. Fair enough. So 144, this only needs to be 144 as well. One forty eight. Okay, and then your little buddy here is starved. Let's get him sorted. All right, that should help for a while. I'll probably need to do the fertilizer or something with these guys. The plant, I have to redo this. On, well, not redo it, but I need to lay it out a bit better. The idea is that this gold, these wheat fields will probably go here. And then the other farms will like go along these plots on the way out towards the farming village. That's at least the idea. So that's why I don't want to do too, anything too permanent here just yet. Because it just seems to me to make sense to continue the wheat fields down. We left room as well for trade unions and copy? town halls and everything. But I never use them. Now I've got the influence, we can, so. Oh, uh, impeccable. Hey, all good news. Love to hear it. Love to hear it. Anyway, so that's a problem for a different time anyway. Once we get to their tiers, we can kind of sort that out. It's a Although we are doing beer, actually, thinking about it. So we should make sure we have enough <laughs> thinking about it. I wonder, did I used to bring this in via Docklands or something? Why it's so specifically low. 17 under 34. Like, you need a lot. You need a lot more, sir. Yeah, maybe I should stop half-assing it, actually. Let's just do this properly. Alright, so... 144 is what you need. So that's 122. 134. Just trying to work out like spacing if I could get these to be sort of copy and pasteable. That makes sense. It's 134, 142, and that actually leaves perfect room for ya boy, Silo. <laughs> now I don't know if we've got any fertilizer in this island. Oh, we do. Lo we've got loads. That's more like it, yeah? Are we happier with that? Not being lazy for once? I'll just move these over a bit to the right. Let's do it there. Can bring a, oh my god. Bring a road up this way. There we go. Huge expansion for hops. 
And we'll just speed up time a bit, see how they're getting on with that. It'll take a while for them to all get fed. Now the fuel places, one of the fuel places anyway, is down there. We built a new, new one up here. I still think there's enough tractors. I think they'll be okay. But it'll take a little while for them just to get everything. But I think that should do it. You know, it's a lot. <laughs> uh, and they have malt. Malt for days. And grain for days. Let's check malt just real quick. 66 over 64. Grain. Yeah, kind of low on that one. We'll have to redo that. Or increase the amount at some point. These are actually super full as well. Alright, we're still just waiting on fuel to kind of arrive. They're doing it, but it's going to take a while because there's so many. This one's full of fuel, actually. And it can still make that distance, can't it? It can, yeah. Just about. It's actually right on the edge of being able to make it. That's funny. And then fertilizer is going to get filled into all these as well. So fertilizer, what, I can't even remember what fertilizer does specifically. Is it um, 200% or something? It's 100% and it provides extra goods every three cycles. Nice. The tractor barn, doesn't that do something similar? There's a beer festival on right now. Productivity 50%. Oh, that's throwing off all my numbers. 14 minutes to go. All alcohol production chains get a 50% productivity boost. Even, so yeah, interesting. I wonder is that why hops run out then? Because I feel like, yeah, I wouldn't have left it that messed up. Well, no, if this gets 50% and that gets 50%, it's all, it should all even out, shouldn't it? I think. I don't know, why can't I see the, um, what the tractor's giving me? Does it not tell me? Just like, there we go. Productivity, 200%, workforce needed, 50. And then you also get extra goods every three cycles. So every three cycles, every three cycles, we're getting two hops extra and then we're getting a 300% increase to productivity it says base productivity oh yeah so the tractor barn isn't active that's why I was thinking like why can't I see it but it's not active yet all right we just gotta wait these ones are active though I was literally looking at the one that was not showing me what I need to know all right we're all good so this is gonna go up to a nice tasty 400 and for a little while, it'll go up to 450 because of that festival. So let's check on this thing now. We're up to 34 and to 36. So I think, yeah, once it, um, that one gets its oil, then we're golden. Let's just uh, speed these up. Oh, I'm out of materials. We have no more steel beams. Our new All right, so did we set up the beer route? I can't even remember. Beer? Exporting beer. Yep. This ship is going to be the one that does it, and it's been told to throw things overboard. The Scurvy Dog 2. And it's just about to head on out to its new location. I'm wondering, could I maybe just quickly bring it an item? Hey, boom! 15 more influence. We just passed another threshold. 188,000 population. Love to see it. All right, so actually, I was going to put an item on this. I'll leave it. We'll just uh, send them out. Just to make them go faster. One of those propellers, but it'll take too long to get over there. We don't have a, an airship or anything nearby. Uh, I'm just going to keep it on triple speed. I want to see this beer arrive. We want to hope that the Nandu stuff has arrived yet. No, the soccer balls has not arrived yet. Scooters are here. Fine. Flourishes of fancy. The Arctic reports, like we know, are going to fluctuate just that little bit every now and then. Bicycle is got to write this one down. So we're seeing a little bit of fluctuation on a couple of these items. So that's bicycles, tapestries, souvenirs, and cow chuck is slightly under as well. So the things that seemingly I've caught on like the 95% satiation amount is tapestries, souvenirs, and now bicycles. That's what we've caught doing that. Let's just lock it at 11 for now. 11.01. It's usually where I leave, leave it. It's a pretty nice 
cast just the right amount of shadows, I would say, to make the game look so good. Alright, let's track where these things are. So, soccer balls. He's on his way. The big daddy is on his way to Lusk. The beer and balls ship. Hey, the other guy already made his first delivery of balls. Excellent. And we've got our first batch of beer and our first batch of balls heading straight to uh, Swords right now on the EOTS. And this guy is carrying already. He's out there carrying them around. Delivered it to... Oh, so he didn't have any balls with him, but he has them now. Oh, yeah, no, sorry. He's going this way. My bad. I usually go that way clockwise. It's going counterclockwise. So Malahide's got his stuff. Excellent. This is awesome. So speed of time. We can now see that down here, our artisans should have everything they need. They don't have their local mail yet. That's okay, mail is, is the last thing we're ever going to do, and we'll see how much we can do. Probably can't do it everywhere, as we, as I mentioned in the previous episode, people say that they're totally fine with that. Um, but I would like to try and meet the demand in the biggest places, at least. Cargo stations. They don't have perfume. That's strange. Uh, I guess we have to wait for this island to fill up first, although mm, seemingly doing it quite slowly. Apply it's every person's right to change their mind. In Lusk, there's no perfume. In Swords, there's 200. This ship currently does not have any, and it's just dropped it off. It seems like it's running kind of s slow then. Guy's carrying a hundred and forty-five. Hmm. Okay, well. We do make enough, so <laughs> we should make more than enough, and I don't think it ever slows down. In fact, we can actually check that, right? Perfume. There it is. Production over time. The perfume line is right here, and it's super consistent, so we can get rid of maybe the demand line, these other lines. And then we can see, so we were making 26 per minute, and then just at the beginning of this episode, I changed it, so now it's making 25 per minute. So we still make two tons extra per minute than we need, so eventually it should like all work out. I suppose if we wanted to give it a boost, I don't mind doing that. We can actually just turn back on those factories. And I don't think it would affect anything. Sorry, I always do that, it's down here. Time for us to feel Because we have science. plenty of ethanol, Plenty of orchid. Coconut oil might suffer, maybe. But I'll, just, I'll turn these both on. Let's get perfume out there to the masses. And then we can this wind it back. I'm going to write that one down genius. as well. So perfume, turn off to... Alright, sorry. I was just writing that down. Alright, let's check on these guys. How are they doing? They have their soccer balls, they have their scooters, love to see it. Nobody's got their beer yet, that's the kind of last thing I'm waiting on. Oh my god, they've got it. They've got beer! It's happened. That was pretty quick, actually. Alright, so they've got everything. Everything they need. And that means it's technically the final trade route that ever has to come here. Barring, obviously, adjustments to the ones that seem to be fluctuating just slightly. Um, but I don't think we have to import any other good. So I don't know how many <laughs> how many different things come into swords, but it's it's pretty insane. It's like every item in the game, almost. Things like fish, I guess, don't have to come in. But um, if we look at this one, Old World, this is everything affecting swords. So all the items in here are all being made and all coming in now from somewhere. Maybe not 100% perfect for everything, but pretty damn good. Very happy to see it. I mean, it's finally done. At least the swords is. We're getting through it. So after this, if we just want to quickly have a look, just to celebrate, you know, everything's golden, everything's green, love to see it. They have their lifestyle, they have their happiness. They're just slightly unhappy with a couple of things, but that's okay. Souvenirs again are the issue here. Bombins, oh my fucking god. <laughs> All right, let's track that one as well and see what's going on with that. So I've written that down, bombins. So in between episodes, I'll track all these, just check what's happening with them. Let some time play out.
Uh, so yeah, working our way down. So that was investors, there's tourists, then we'll check the scholars. So scholars, they're lacking their bomb bins. Their Arctic reports are fluctuating just slightly. The artisans then that we've just done, they're pretty much set. The engineers, pretty much set. They have their medicine, their ice cream, all these weird things, mezcal. Looking good. I think that's it then. Not much else to check on. Obviously the other thing that's like the hidden thing would be all these extras. All the stores are, have everything they need. So we're even making fire extinguishers for this. Oh, sorry, that's not fire extinguishers, arctic gas. They use arctic gas to make fridges. <laughs> I'm surprised I decided to give them arctic gas. I was usually so low on it in the past. Oh, I just remembered something. Did I ever? No, I never actually repaired this. Whoops. There's no other ruins in the game at the moment, so we're good. All right, that's going to have to be it for this episode. It went on quite long, but pretty happy to see us hitting again another milestone and pretty much doing all the traders that will ever have to come into swords is now done this place's pier for everything it's doing is surprisingly quick like there's no traffic on this place versus here which is a proper hub port for multiple places is always busy and then manola super busy all right so that is it for this episode thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.